Hello and welcome to Spread Book Joy, where a teacher recommends great books for home or school for children. I'm Jack and this is my channel, my mission to spread the joy of books and reading as far and wide as possible. Today I've got four fantastic wintry Christmassy reads for you. Very quick recommendations these ones because I don't want to spoil them, they're absolutely wonderful books and if you're looking for something to read over this festive season these are great ones. First up we have Dogger's Christmas by Shirley Hughes. In the UK, Dogger is one of the classic children's books. It's one of my favourite read-alouds for children. It was written in 1977, which is the year I was born. It's a very old book, but it's still read and well-loved today. It's all about a boy called Davy and his pet Dogger. And in the original book, Davy loses Dogger and has to find him. And what's so magical about these stories is that Shirley Hughes is... Um, a national treasure. <laughs> She's an absolutely wonderful author illustrator of children's books and her gorgeous wonderful sort of pastel drawings um, really bring stories to life. But what I love about her work and I love about this book in particular is it just ev evokes so many positive Christmas memories for me and it just you know at a time when we can't all be spending Christmas together. I think Dogger's Christmas is uh, wonderful. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things in here as to why it just reminds me of Christmas and family and spending time with family and all those exciting things that when you're younger you get to do. So in Dogger's Christmas, Dogger is uh, still Dave's number one favourite toy, but Dave wants some different toys for Christmas and he gets these different toys and he begins to play with them and then of course um, when his back is turned, Dogger goes missing. So it's similar theme, but in this story, uh, we think about whether Dave's outgrown Dogger, but uh, spoiler, he hasn't. And when Dogger goes missing, he notices. But I just want to show you quickly some of these amazing Shirley Hughes drawings. I just find her work so beautiful it's very traditional looking and she's got all these absolutely wonderful images and thought of, of Christmas do you remember as a child looking in Christmas shop windows with your parents and they go to visit neighbors they stand around the Christmas tree they've got their stockings at the end of the bed and this all reminded me of when I was a child and I would sleep with all of my favorite um, stuffed animals and teddy bears lined up beside me in bed. So there's Dave and Dogger on Christmas Eve about to go to sleep. And then you've got all these just beautiful images of just a regular Christmas of waking up before your parents and emptying your stockings and then having sharing presents in the morning before you get dressed and then visiting neighbours and family. What a traditional family scene grandparents turning up um, and I just think this year in particular 2020 where we might not have all of these things it's just a lovely reminder of what Christmas can be about but then of course Dogger goes missing and they have to look for him so I won't spoiler it completely for you but that is the amazing Dogger's Christmas by Shirley Hughes I love it so much I think it adds so much to it it's been 43 years since the first book so it's great to have a follow-up and Shirley Hughes is a national treasure by Philip Pullman. She is a national treasure. Underneath, I always have a check under the hardback. And there's Dogger with his little Christmas wreath on. Love it. Okay, next up, this isn't a Christmas story, but it's a wintry kind of look to it. Um, it's The Littlest Yak by Lou Fraser and Kate Hindley. It's all about Gertie, who's the littlest yak, and she lives, I mean, look at these illustrations. I love it, this sort of limited color palette that sort of shows you, it's like she lives with her herd of yaks, her family, and she is the, she's fed up with being the littlest yak, and she wants to grow up big and tall, and she thinks that big yaks are the best. And it's all a story about, you know, um, she realizes that actually there are some wonderful things about being small and I mean just look at these illustrations they're so fun and they're so lively and I just I just think um, this book is hilariously funny it's got good rhyming to it it's a really great read aloud and full of just just lovely images really and it's a great story and with a good moral at the end so of course we learn that being big isn't always the best thing. So that's a great one to read, really good wintry tale. And this is beautiful. This was released in November 
and this is Dasher by Matt Tavares, I want to say, or Tavares. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Apologies if I'm not. But Dasha is the story of uh, Dasha the reindeer, and it's about how the Santa sled came to be pulled by reindeer instead of horses, because originally it was a horse. And this is all sorts of beautiful on the level of sort of Polar Express beautiful. I mean, the full lavish lavish illustrations in here are absolutely beautiful and it's a gorgeous story really nice story so we meet Dasha is um, living with her herd in a traveling circus and has never been to the North Pole never been to the North Pole and um, Dasha's mum tells stories about the North Pole to Dasha and every night she wants to hear the stories about the North Pole and she, um, when she gets a chance she escapes and when she escapes she's out in the wild but she doesn't know where she's going and then she comes across someone who is stuck because the sleigh is too heavy for silver bell santa's horse to pull and dasher comes up with a solution and i won't go into too much more detail of it but it's the story about how all the reindeer came to pull the sleigh. But Dasher is, again, it's usually Rudolph um, that gets all the stories, but Dasher is the uh, main reindeer in this story. And it's just it's just a beautiful book. I mean, look at it. I mean, this is as Christmassy as it gets, really. This is absolutely wonderful. So highly recommended. Last but not least, I have a review of this, uh, a blog review of how Winston delivered Christmas up on my website. I'll put the link below in the description box. But this is, I've left this last because it's a really special book that you would get out every single year and start a Christmas tradition with. So How Winston Delivered Christmas is a Christmas story in 24 and a half chapters by Alex T. Smith. So Alex T. Smith has written, it's quite look, a thick storybook. It's for younger children and it's designed to be read a single a chapter every single night and after each chapter there is an activity to do, a Christmas activity, it could be a recipe, it could be making um, decorations, but it's a beautiful book and Alex T. Smith is also an award-winning illustrator and his illustrations are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous and they're really warm and so this is the idea. It tells you at the front how to read this book. So every night you've got a different chapter and a different activity. So December the 1st, very important mission. That's the first chapter. And then you write a letter to Father Christmas. Um, just look through though. It's absolutely, it's a gorgeous story. The story in itself is wonderful. Got all these beautiful illustrations all the way through. And the story is about this lovely, brave little mouse called Winston, who's living out in the cold and he's freezing cold, but he finds a letter that needs to go to St. Father Christmas and it's nearly Christmas Eve. And unfortunately, uh, he thinks he's not gonna get there and some poor child will wake up with no presents. So instead of trying to find somewhere warm to sleep, Winston decides to go on a mission and take the letter to Father Christmas himself. And it's like every night there's a little cliffhanger. He meets lots of different amazing characters throughout. I'll show you a couple of these beautiful, beautiful illustrations. So absolutely stunning. And he goes past all these shops and there's all this Christmas imagery throughout. He even goes into church at one point. Um, it's just a beautiful book. And it's the sort of thing where you would get this out and have it as a tradition every year and very young children will enjoy it and you've got activities you don't have to do all the activities I think if you did you'd be exhausted there are so many ideas in here of things to do and there's some sort of information about how Christmas is celebrated around the world make your own wrapping paper um, it's a fantastic book and at the very back which I loved there are some lyrics to popular Christmas carols and the whole I think don't know if it's the whole Twas the Night Before Christmas the poem I think it is but yeah look so you can have a sing-along which is great so um, and he explains this is the author and illustrator he explains why he loved Christmas so much when he was younger and he always wanted to write a Christmas book so and I think he's done one of the best Christmas books I've ever ever seen so if you are a parent and you want to start a new tradition, if you've got young children, I would definitely have this as a Christmas must. So these are just my four recommendations, very quick recommendations for Christmas reads. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. You'll find more recommendations and book lists on my website and all the links are in the description box below. I hope you enjoy a wonderful festive season and don't forget, pick up some festive books to read to children. It makes December even more special. Hopefully, if you like this video, you'll subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon.
Bye.